Hello boys and girls and welcome to Art with Miss Esre. Today we have a super cool project. We are going to be doing rock painting and we're going to be making the solar system on some rocks. Right here I have a sun and Uranus all finished. For this project you're going to need nine rocks. Mine are a little bit bigger than my palm but they don't need to be that big. As long as it's flat that's going to work perfectly so you're going to need nine rocks and then along with that you're going to need some paint. I used acrylic paint, but you don't have to. The acrylic paint does last longer, but you can also use washable if that's all you have at home. Along with that, you also need paint brushes. I like using the little bit skinnier paint brushes because then I can make little nice fine details. Um, for this project, that's all you're gonna need. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start, I have my nine rocks. I went on a little hike and I got these rocks. I have some paint brushes that are kind of skinny so I can make some details. I have my paper towel so I could switch colors, a paper so that I don't get paint on my table, and then I have my paint. These are all the colors that I'm using. The first one I'm gonna start painting is the center of our solar system, which is a star, and it is the sun. I'm gonna start by putting some yellow. I'm gonna make a circle. I'm gonna keep putting paint on until I get what I want it to look like. probably gonna let it dry and go in with another yellow coat but I'm gonna start on the outside of the sun the rays dip your brush in the water to get rid of all of the yellow I'm gonna wipe it on my napkin and then I'm gonna go in with some orange I'm gonna start making the rays of my sun so I'm just gonna do little triangles I'm gonna keep making triangles until I get all the way around my sun. and fix my lines a little bit. Okay, I filled in the triangles with my orange. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then I'm gonna go back and go over the yellow and the orange so it's a little bit darker. I'm going to start adding dimension. I'm going to put a little bit of orange in my yellow right here and then on the tips of the orange I'm going to add some of my red. So I'm just going just a little bit on the yellow so that I don't have a super harsh line. just a little bit of red towards the tips of that and I'm going to blend it out.
our finished sun. I'm gonna set it to the side so it can dry. I'm gonna start doing the other planets. The next planet we'll be working on is the planet that is closest to the sun and is a, it is the smallest planet. Go ahead and take a guess what planet we're gonna make next. If you said Mercury, you are correct. We're gonna start on Mercury. It's a little bit of a grayish, bluish color. It's full of rocks. I'm gonna take, I didn't have a gray, so I'm gonna take some of my white. Like that. And grab some of my black. I'm gonna mix it together and it will make a gray color. If you need more, go ahead and keep mixing the two colors back and forth. I'm also gonna add a tiny bit of blue, so it's more of a blue gray. Make sure it's not too dark because we're going to go in with a little bit of a darker gray to add some details. I'm going to put a little bit more blue. Alright, and I think I have my color. So just like the sun, we're going to start by making a circle. All of the planets are going to be circular shapes. I have the outline of my shape. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make the gray a little bit darker so I can add some details. Mercury is rocky, so we're just gonna make some jagged lines and some spots so that it looks like there's rocks all over it. Make my gray a little bit darker. Make sure it's plenty dark enough than the first gray color you use so that you can see it when you start painting over it. I'm just gonna go in, make some marks on it. They don't have to be perfect. And that is it for Mercury. Our next planet is going to be Venus. Venus is a very, very hot planet, so we're gonna use warm tone colors, so like yellow, orange, and red. I'm also gonna use a little bit of this beige color to start off. Um, if you don't have a beige color, you can go ahead and use the yellow right away, but I'm gonna use the beige, beige first. Just like the other ones, you're gonna start by making a circle. dry a little bit and I'm gonna add my other colors on top of it. I'm gonna start by adding some yellow. Again this does not have to be perfect you're just putting it wherever you want it to go. After that I'm gonna go in with some orange. And then you could kind of mix the colors up. And then lastly, I'm going to go in with some red.
And that's it. You can keep going back in if you want your colors a little bit darker. After Venus is the planet that we live on, which is the planet Earth. Earth is covered in water. So I'm gonna start with blue first. I'm gonna make our circle using the blue color. After you finish the blue, I'm gonna, you're gonna let it dry so that we can add the grass and some clouds. After the blue dries, we're going to add some green. That's going to be our land, our continents. You're just going to add the green in some patches. They don't have to be perfect or anything. You're just going to add the green as you see fit. Once the blue and the green is done, you're going to want it to completely dry because we're going to use white to start adding in a little bit of clouds. If you do it while it's still wet, the white's going to mix in and it's going to make light blue and light green, but we want it to look white because our clouds are white. My green and my blue is all dry, so I'm going to start adding in some paint or some clouds. I'm using white paint. You can go over a little bit of the green and the blue. Kind of swirling it around so it looks like clouds. And that is Earth all done. The planet after the Earth is Mars. Mars is like a reddish, brownish colored planet. The soil on it is like a red brown. We're gonna start going in with our red. We're gonna make a circle. dried a bit we're gonna add in some orange and some brown just like the other ones they don't have to be perfect I'm just kind of splotching it everywhere to give it some more depth Our next planet is Jupiter. It's a pretty big planet. So I'm gonna choose a bigger rock so I can do it on it. I'm gonna start with the beige color. If you don't have beige, you can mix the white and the brown and that'll turn into a beige color like this. I'm gonna make the circle. my beige color down I'm gonna let it all dry completely because we do have to do some stripes and some storms they're gonna be pretty intricate
And I'm gonna add just a couple of orange lines as well. And then we will be done. There's my Jupiter. Our next planet is Saturn, which has some big rings around it. So I'm gonna choose kind of a big rock, just like the Jupiter one. Again, I'm gonna start with that beige, light brown base. I'm gonna make my circle with that color. Once it's dried a bit, I'm gonna take some white and I'm gonna make my ring. I'm gonna start at the top. I'm going to come out and it's going to come across the brown at the bottom and come out and then stop once it gets to that point. So I'm getting my white. I'm starting at the top and it's coming out across the bottom and back to the top. So I didn't go through the top, I stayed at the edges, but at the bottom, I went through the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit thicker and a little bit wider. On the planet, I'm going to go through and add some little dark brown lines and some white lines. And then on the ring, I'm going to go and add some little tan lines and some brown lines as well. I'm going to actually use this brush because it's a little bit sharper because I'm just going to do little tiny lines. Our next planet is Uranus. Uranus is like a light blue color. So I'm gonna get some blue and some white. And I'm gonna make a light blue color in the middle over here. Okay, so I have my light blue color. Now I'm gonna make a circle with my light blue color. Make sure you leave room because Uranus, Uranus does have one little ring around it. Uranus is made out of ice, so I'm gonna add some white at the top. And the cool thing about Uranus is that it rotates sideways and its ring is sideways. So we're going to do our line from the top all the way around and to the bottom. I'm going to use white to make the line. So this is Uranus's ring. So just like last time, we're going over one side, but we're not going over the other side. I'm going to make this a little bit wider so you can see it, but Uranus's ring is pretty thin, so I'm going to try and keep it as thin as I can. And 
then the last planet we have is Neptune. Neptune is also blue, but it's a little bit darker blue. So I'm going to just go ahead and go straight in my regular blue and start making that circle. And now my last step with Neptune, I'm going to make some squiggly light blue lines. And that is it. This is our finished product of the sun in the middle and all of our planets go around it. You can keep these rocks in your backyard, you can keep them inside. 